Hey, sports fans, this is Mike Gibbons at the Babe Ruth Museum with another edition of How About That? This time taking you back to the 1950s and one of the Orioles' first pitchers, Don Larson. Here you see a document. It is Don Larson's outright release form, May 3rd, 1968, when he leaves professional baseball. But prior to that, he had a 15-year big league career starting with the St. Louis Browns in 1953, and then when the Browns transferred over to Baltimore in 1954, there was Larson as one of the starting pitchers. Unfortunately, for a very bad team, he had a very bad record that year, 1954. He had three wins and 21 losses. However, two of those wins came against the New York Yankees, and that was enough for the Yankees to trade for Larson, along with pitcher Bob Turley and others, uh, to join the Yankees squad in 1955. So he had a good career in New York, going 45 and 24 from 1955 through 1959. The big season was 1956. He won 11 games for the Yankees that year, had a great uh, 3.21 ERA, and then he went to the World Series. And he pitched on October 8, 1956, against the Dodgers, a perfect game the only perfect game in World Series history. And uh, it just put him down in baseball history. Uh, the only other World Series no-hitter, uh, not perfect game, but, uh, but uh, no-hitter, was Roy Halladay with the Phillies, uh, and he did it in 2010. So big, big magic moments in baseball, and Larson has one of them. But he went on 81 and 91 uh, in that 15-year career and uh, was important. He's a big part of Orioles history uh, because he was a first here, and then off he went and pitched that, uh, that perfect game in 1956. And so that's our story for today, and this has been another edition of How About That.